provided the techniques and solutions for the questions in the mock exam. Okay. So before we start, uh, I would like to request everybody. So I'll just introduce some house rules. First is to always turn off your microphone. Okay. Always turn off your microphone because when I am explaining, I don't want people to like, you know, talk so that other students can also hear me well. Okay. So to be fair with everybody, I want you to turn off your microphone all the time. Also, I, I want you to turn on your camera because from time to time, I will be asking some students to answer my question. So while, while you are explaining your answer, I want to see your faces, okay? Also, lastly, and the most important one, the chat box is for answering questions. So please refrain from chatting unnecessary things in the chat box. Are we clear on that? Okay? Yes. All right. Okay, now let's start. Yeah. Now we know that the TIMO, the Thailand International Mathematical Olympiad, is divided into five categories. We have the logical thinking, the arithmetic, the number theory, and combinatorics and geometry. So the first that we're going to discuss right now is the logical thinking part. Are you ready? Just do a thumbs up if you're ready. Yes. yes. Okay. Question number one. According to the pattern shown below, what should be the number filled in the blank? According to the pattern shown below, what should be the number filled in the blank? Now, I'll call someone to tell me what is the pattern here. Okay. Let's have... Uh, Rayo Lincoln, Suniko. So the pattern is. Where's your camera? Uh, yes. Four. The pattern is plus four. Plus six. Plus plus eight. Plus ten. And then the next one is plus twelve. So, so what answer... number should be in the blank? 53. That's 53. Very good. Did everybody get this right? Okay, next. The age of Carlos five years later is equal to the age of Richard three years ago. Given Carlos is 21 years old now, how old is Richard now? Okay, so what we need to do here is we just make this into a mathematical sentence. The age of Carlos five years later, so that would be Carlos plus five, is equal to the age of Richard three years ago. Given that Carlos is 21 now, how old is Richard? So that would be 26 plus 3 equals the age of Richard. Therefore, Richard is 29 years old. Clear? Is this clear? Okay. Question number three. In June, uh, June 15, 2022 is a Wednesday. Which day of the week will 9th of August 2022 be? All right. So what we need to do here is we just need to calculate the total number of days from June 15 to August 9. Okay. For June, how many remaining days are there for June? We have 
we have 15. 30 days. So 30 days. For July, we have 31 days. We have 31 days. For August, that's a total of that's a, oh we need to add uh, okay days now, we need to divide 55 by 7 mm. yeah because like that would be seven days. Seven one. remainder six. Therefore, you have seven weeks and six days. Six days. Six days. Six days. Six days. Six days. After Wednesday is Tuesday. Oh, Wednesday, Thursday. Tuesday. 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 Do you understand? Yes. Okay, turn off your microphones now so that everybody can hear me. Okay? Let's proceed to the next number. In year 2022, how many months are they are there with the 31st so technically you are just asked here how many months are there in the calendar with the date 31 Seven months. so that would be january march Seven months. may Seven months. july Seven months. august Seven months. October, So you have seven months. Seven months. Clear? This is too easy. Ah, yes. Yeah. According to the pattern shown below, how many circles are there in the 200th group? According to the pattern shown below, how many circles are there? Wait lang. I think it's not 200. For this test. Yeah, 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 for 45 group. Wait for a while. Uh, uh, I know. I'm going to run in. I'm going to this is Forty-six. 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 Okay, what did I say? What did I say? Forty-six. 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 Okay. Everybody, turn off your microphone. So. Turn off your microphone. Okay. What did I say about your microphone? I will not continue if you don't stop talking. Teacher AJ, excuse me, huh? please turn off, turn off the mic. 46. 46. I will not continue I if you won't start. stop talking, so please stop talking. Okay, I know. What did I say about your microphone? Turn it off. What do you see? What do you see? 
46. I know the answer. You don't have to tell me. I want you to turn off your microphone. Now, is everybody done talking? Can I proceed now? Okay. Now, so you are asked to find the four, how many circles are there in the 45th group. Now, how to do that? As you can see, the pattern here is just the nth group plus 1. To so the second 46. group, that's 2 plus 1. 46. The third. Okay, wait for a while, guys. Ha. Wait for a while. Teacher, I have a question. Teacher, you're going to share the question, please. Teacher, I have a question, please. Okay, let's continue. So you have here to get the answer, to get the number of circles in the 45th group, as you can see in the pattern, you are just adding is... one to the group. So two plus one. Here we have so three like plus 46. one. Here we have 4 plus 1. So on the 45th group, that would be 46, 46. 45 plus 1, that's 46. 46. 46. 46. Teacher. Yes. Do we have the link going to the, what? the sample test? Teacher, so you can share the questions. This is the mock exam. You have the copy of this. So we didn't have the link to have to to we don't have the link sample, right? But I have. Excuse me, teacher AJ. Our mock paper is different from the one we review now. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. You need to check again. This is this is from the mock exam. Yeah, I remember this is yes. from the mock exam. That's exactly from the mock exam. So. Okay, let's continue. If 21 days uh, later will be Tuesday, what day of the week is today? Tuesday. 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 Okay, by the way. Let's go. Tuesday. 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 Everyone, you listen first. Can we have an agreement? Whenever I am reading the answer, I don't want you to tell me the answer because we still need to solve for it for the others. You don't need to shout. Okay, sorry. Sorry. It's okay, but please consider the others. You have classmates that are also listening. You might you may know the answer, but Others may not, so please be considerate with them. Be respectful to your classmates. Is that clear? Yes, we clear now. Okay. So here, the answer is Tuesday. Why? Diba? So you you are you know the answer, but the others doesn't know how to get Tuesday. So. Please refrain from telling me the answer directly when I'm reading, when I'm still reading the problem. Okay, so we have here 21 days later will be a Tuesday. So what you need to do is just divide 21 by the number of days in a week. That's three. That's exactly three weeks. 
That means, you need to count three weeks before Tuesday. And that is still a Tuesday. That's how we get the answer. Clear? Okay, very good. Now we're done with the logical thinking part. We will proceed to the arithmetic. Um, excuse me, Coach AJ. But yes. I just want to clear something with number six. Number six. Okay, what? Um, teacher, I'm gonna annotate so that you all know what I'm talking about. But you... thirty-one days later before Tuesday, is that counting backwards? Yeah. Sure. Is it also puede? Because I found out, teacher, that that one week front or backward is going to be the same day round. Yeah. And so 21 days or three weeks of the same day is the, of Tuesday is still the same day, right? No. So it's still correct, teacher, because you said you have to count backwards. And I'm confused because I don't count um, backwards. Okay, okay. I count back with a week. Mm. So it's still correct. Ah, okay. So I get your point. Yeah, it's counting backwards, man, because you are as you are asked for today, and then twenty-one days. That's Tuesday. So your base is this. So you need to count backwards. But still, you can you can do it with your solution, man. Na twenty-one days. That's three weeks. So that's exactly three weeks. So it's still Tuesday here. Because three weeks after Tuesday is still Tuesday. The same thing as three weeks before Tuesday is also Tuesday. They're the same. Clear? I mean, clear. You have to listen, right? Try to make a No. Okay. I know. Oh, it's third Tuesday. Okay. Clearly. Clearly, clearly, yeah. Okay. Next, find the value of this. One. Uh, wait, lang before that. One hand, one and ten. Um. Two yeah. Wait for a while, ha. Huh? Can we continue? Yeah, wait for a while. Okay. So we need to find the value of 6 times 10 plus 3 times 11 plus 9 times 3. Okay, so we have many ways to solve for this one. We can follow MDAS or we can factor something out. Okay, following MDAS, if we follow MDAS, we have 6 times 10, that is 60. 3 times 11, that's 33. 9 times 3, that's 27. 33 plus 27, well, that is also 60. 60 plus 60, that's 120. One, now, if we factor out, by factoring, we know that 6 is just 3 times 2. So 6 times 10 is just equal to 3 times 2 times 10. We have 3 times 11 and then 3 times 9. Now, by factoring out 3... No, because the other people have it. We have 2 times 10 plus 11 plus 27. So we have 3 times 20... I'm sorry, not 27. Wait. This is oh, 9. thing is not 7. Actually, it's 9. 20 plus 20. So 40. 3 times 40, that is 120. So still the same answer. Now, the technique here, you listen carefully. 
you use this one if the numbers are just small. You use this technique if the numbers are large. Okay? That's one way to do it. Is that Excuse clear? Me, Jane, like, I don't really understand the factoring too much. Like, can you explain it again in a simpler way? Because I don't really understand it too much. Okay, let's say, uh, let's say for example, I have uh, 15. Oh, I know that. 10 plus 13 times 20 plus 11 times 30. This one. Now, you know that 10, 20, and 30 are multiple. So I can just put 15 times 10 plus 20 is just 10 times 2, right? So I can write that as 10 times 2. Plus 30 is 10 times 3. Now, I have a common factor of 10, so I can factor that out. So I will be left with 15 plus 13 mm -hmm. times 2, that's 26, plus 11 times 3, that's 33. And I'll be left with 10 times, what is 26 plus 33? That's 59. 59 plus 15, number that's 74. Seven what? What's number 7? 6 so times 10, times 10 plus 3 times 11 plus 9 times 3. Are you sure? You sure? Seven? Yes, it, it says right there, 7. Please close your mic. Okay, please turn off your microphone. It's on seven and it's and that's ten times seventy four. Like that. That's seven hundred forty. Okay. By the way, Number this is more forty seven hundred forty. Okay. Um, reminding everyone that this class is for primary three, huh? But that's easy for you, right? This class is yeah. primary three. How can I remember? Yeah. Yes. See, this yes, is basically uh, what the real test is. Then the, and then the mock test is what the BBB is. <laughs> like, what the hell? Because I, okay. I checked the this... one for second and third answers. Right? This... I don't see any of that. What is it? But what the... Isn't this a mock test? Yeah, this is the mock test. Later, right? It's 23, Jay. Yeah. It's because you, they you send you the first round paper from the one we are reviewing right now. What? It's because we, we have a different and the value of the six times right ten now. Time plus three times eleven plus nine times three. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I speak one at a time, please. I can hear you all. Okay. Teacher. Wait, lang ha. Let me just let me just ask if. We do, but we don't have slides. Huh? We don't have. Let me just slides. let me before before we continue. Yeah. I'll just yeah, ask. No. Me. But teacher. Okay. Anybody who has this set of questions? I have a question. Is this is this in your mock exam? Is, is this? Oh, do we? Wow. Yes. 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 Wait lang, wait lang. I one don't know time. what is happening. One now, at a time. So, uh, one at a time. I don't know what is happening. I'm gonna call somebody. Uh, can I have Dian Gaba? I mean, Gabia, Gabia. Yes. yes. Okay. The, uh, the mock paper is different. Yeah. Yeah, parang ano na to, uh, 2020 to 2021 na po yung mock paper. Okay, wait for a while, ha? Now, everybody, this please turn off your microphone. Can you listen first? 
Yeah, even some of my classmates are saying. Teacher, it's different. Oh, okay. So, what would Okay, so it's the teacher who's confused, not us. I, I think, did they accidentally give us the grade to Wait. Wait. first? Watch, 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 will get mad at us. And secondly, maybe different regions Wait, lang, guys. Tests. Okay? Wait for a while. The coach is so mad at this point. It's okay, Everyone. I'm not mad. Teacher AJ, maybe they emailed My coach is so mad paper. at this one. Yeah, no, 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 no. Please yeah. stop. My coach is literally about to explode. I'm not understand. You know, the, the things that you do. Please stop. Okay. Please. Yeah. Do you understand? Do we have, do we have the link going to the book? Yes. Are oh, you understand, man? Oh, oh wait. Do we have the lingo into the mock test? Uh, well, what is lingo? Not teaching. Wait for a while. So I'm wait, what there. happened to I'm Yasa word? I haven't heard about it. Everyone, go down to the oh, mess. For goodness oh, sake. Because the competition, I don't want to HPMO, the rest of the competitions now. took faster. So. Wait a minute. Everyone, wait, 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 wait. You guys stay quiet. Mute your microphone. This is 2020 yeah. to 2021. Yeah, look, it actually says. What if we do you continue? Guys, be quiet. Yeah. Okay, wait, Lam. I'm still. Oh, I'm still, I'm still so I think all of them got it. Oh. The my classmates. But you said one of your classmates is asking the wrong one. Excuse me, Coach AJ. I think I might know. Maybe this is why they sent us the Ah, they sent us the wrong one. Oh, yeah, wait, ask ask them a... What am I gonna ask? Oh yeah. Danny? Wait, I'm no. everybody. I'm still asking the I don't think Danny's even here. Yeah. Okay. Everybody, wait. Can you check your paper? Is that Timo mock exam? Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Timo yes. mock exam. But, uh, Actually, oh, wait. JJ, um, this is this says 2020 to 2021. How is that logical? 2020 to 2021 for the mock paper teacher. Here. All of them got 2020 to 2021. Even Danny. And he's a person. Okay, can I speak Muna? Can I speak first before you? Miss. Miss. Okay. Miss. Look. What I have here is the math exam for 2022-2023, primary three. And these are the questions that I am discussing to you. Miss, I have my, it. My, my hours is 2021. Miss, I have a question. Can we ask? Miss? Oh, JJ, I think I might know the problem. What? I have a question. Sure. Because, for example, I can see a lot of Chinese and other Korean names here and sometimes even Filipino faces. But, like, for example, I'm Filipino. That's true. Maybe, teacher, different regions may have the same paper that is a mock test. It is still a mock test, but maybe different regions and countries have different questions. Me too. Because this I think I know why. Yeah, I know why because it's 2020 and it's 2021. I have okay. a question. Can I ask? Okay. No, the, no, because they said this is 2020, 2021. 474 plus 2. They emailed. Plus 312 plus 169 and 346. Maybe different regions have different. Oh. They, they, they 
Imelda, 2020, 2021, mock paper to ask. Okay, wait for a while. I'll, I'll tell them. I have a question. Can I ask? Yes, what's your question? My question is, where do we have the mock test or uh, the mock test paper? Or we got that mock test by using the link? Yeah. So we so that means we need to use pe uh, our parents to, to make a mock test paper. Okay, wait for a while. Or or you just or you just give the link. Coach EJ, hello. Uh, this is from uh this is one of the moms. We received the email a few weeks ago, uh, like two weeks ago. Uh, the one that was attached there is 2020-2021. Oh really? Mom, Wait, I I'll I'll, yes. I'll check with them po. Yes. We disregarded it because we thought that it's the same paper that we're gonna use for this year. So we were reviewing 2020-2021. Ako I didn't yes. I didn't mind to ask because I thought na baka it's the same mm -hmm. naman. So we're there there we're looking at the 2020-2021 po. Hindi po 2021 or I I mean hindi 2020-2022. Parang lumang paper na po. Lumang mock. It's not for this school year. Baka po kaya iba. Teacher, I don't have the mock test paper. Um, teacher, you're gonna just tell them again to email us the current mock paper. I don't have the mock test paper. Where do we have the view of silver? Or, or, or mock test paper? Mock test paper. We don't have to use the mock test paper. Yeah. We don't have the mock test paper, so at least you need to give us the link going to the mock test. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we don't have like mock test okay, paper. Okay, wait yet. long. I, I, I'm asking somebody from the people who sent you the email to come inside the meeting. What? I, I don't okay. understand. Uh, okay, everybody, everybody. Các con ơi, bây giờ cô gửi vào cái tin nhắn nhá thì các con nhờ thầy gửi lại mở người ta để các con có thể nhận này. Chứ bây giờ chúng mình cứ bất trật tự như thế thì không thể nào mà thầy chữa được đâu. Mình sẽ mất rất mất thời gian. This is not your mic, man. Nhưng mà cô nói như vậy thì không có ghi giấy móc test thì sao con làm được cô? Con ơi, con ơi, con đợi một tí. Cô đau lại, cô gửi cho con nhé. Ok, ok, ok. Everybody, I got the answer now. Ok. Cô ơi, cô cô gửi để cho con ạ. Này, trật tự để cô nói với thầy. Con ơi, trật tự một chút tất cả tắt mic nào. What's Sorry, happening? teacher. Sorry, teacher. Sorry, okay. teacher. Uh, yes, do, you, uh, do you have the PDF of mock chat 20, uh, 22, 23? Okay, All the you... kids have the PDF. Okay, the everybody. Did you answer the mock exam in the Eclavia already? Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. No. I have a book. Okay. Okay. I don't know how to write in the blank. I have some. Okay. So these questions are actually the questions in the Eclavia. In the OPEC yes. that Eclavia. The website where you are taking your exam. Yes. I have this okay i think everybody received their received that. the oh. password and the username for eclavia already yes no, I okay received it. you know you check your email i think i think everybody already received the eclavia username and password now the questions in the mock exam in Eclavia are actually these questions that we are discussing right now. 
the materials that you receive attached in the yes! email attached in the email are additional reviewers only. So the questions that we are discussing now are the questions in the mock exam in Eclavia, which the username and passwords for the website are sent to you already. Wait, so teacher, you are saying, teacher, we are discussing not this, but the one in the Eclavia? Yeah, the Eclavia. question in the Eclavia. How to, how to write? So you are saying that... In the, the, the website where you are there, going to answer your exam. To answer and then the 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 I just only write the answer without the teacher, but I don't have the paper mock test, so how can I do it? Teacher. Yeah. Yeah. So I we have done 20, uh, over 30 questions, but how to print it out? I don't sure. I have a question. Okay. Can we continue now? Yes, yeah, but I have to okay. Okay. I have to write in Eclavia. Okay. So you can really answer it. Bottom line is you need to answer the Eclavia. You need because that's where you need to practice these questions. Okay? But how to Okay. To check your username and password. Check your email. It's it's already sent to you. If you receive the, if you receive the, the file there. Okay, let's continue now. Teacher, but I haven't received any. In the are you sure? Yes, only the meeting. Yes. Okay. Can we just continue with this? Because these are the questions that will come out in the mock exam. So regardless of, of what questions are being discussed or what, uh, what questions are being sent to you, these questions will definitely come out in the mock exam where you are going to practice in the website. So let's just discuss this. How to write okay? in a Claudia. Okay, we need to okay, find the value the of, name of the 132 divided by 2 minus 132 divided by 3 plus 132 <laughs> divided by 6 minus 132 divided by 11 plus 132 divided by 22 minus 132 divided by 44. So this is this is kind of easy, right? We just need to follow MDAS. So for MDAS, we just need to divide first. What's 132 divided by 2? Six. That is 66. 132 divided by 3? 44. 44. 44. 132 divided by 6? 22. 22. 22. 132 divided by 11? 11. 11. Uh, 12, right? 11. 11. 132 divided by 22. Oh, 12. 12. That's 6. Why are we at 21 divided by 11? This is 3. 3. 66 minus 44, that's 22. 22. 22 minus 12, that's 10. 26 minus 3, that's 3. So the answer is? Three. Five. Um, 35. 35. 35. Okay? 35. Next. 35. 35. 35. 35. Okay. Okay, next problem. 
But teacher, but in five. are you sure it's easy? Okay. Yeah. But teacher. Yes. So you mean we don't have the length of easy then? Be quiet. So you mean we don't have the paper mock test or we don't have the link going to the mock, mock test, but we just practice. So when we go to the uh, the, fi the final TMO test, we will be seeing this. So we'll practice seeing this, right? Did you discuss the question number one? This is just mock test. This is the mock test, huh? mock test in the for TMO finals. Mock test, not the final question. Oh, so, okay. So, I should we discuss them? And so, you we don't have the solution or the answer. So, you mean we don't have the paper or we don't have the link to? Are you sure it's in this link? Okay. But, I, I don't, I don't see the link. Can you give me the link of, again? I don't see the link. What? What is this? O C D C. It is a link. What? Oh, should we check this out? It's not a link. Okay, let's just continue with this one because time is running. This is not a link. This is a link. No, okay, fine. Okay. <laughs> Find the value of 197 plus 311 plus 118 plus 103 plus 102 plus 169. Okay, so what you need to do here is you just need to group the numbers so that you will have numbers ending in zeros. Numbers ending in zeros are always easier to operate with. So 193 should be paired with 103. That will give you 300. 300. 300. 318 300. paired to 102. That would be 220. 311 paired to 169. That would be 400. Yes. But so okay, I trust yeah. you, but, but I just go, but I just go to, uh, E K L A V V Y A S, but but I I don't know, uh, I don't know what to type in the username and what to type in the password. What you what say? Okay, can we, wait, la, can can we? Can we continue with these questions first? Because the time now. That time now is allotted for this, not for your Eclavia thing, okay? Oh, so maybe after so, the questions, I'll enter oh, about Eclavia, okay? 300. So we have 220 yeah. plus 480, that is 700. And then 300 plus 700, okay. that's 1,000. <laughs> Okay, next. Thousand. So, teacher, I write my real name. So, I write. So, the lock. So, in the lock, yet, in the lock, yet, I'll write my real name. This one, I write my password. Right? I will not continue if you don't mute your microphone. It's a simple instruction that you cannot follow. Okay, we need to find the value of 3 plus 6 plus 9 
plus 12, plus 15, plus 18, plus 21, plus 24, plus 27, plus 30. Okay, so we have many ways to solve for this one, but the most efficient way is since you, all, you know the numbers here already, all of the numbers are present, then you just need to group the numbers first and last. That will give you 33. 6 and 27, that will give you 33 as well. 9 and 24, that will give you 33 as well. And 12 and 21, that's also 33. 15 and 18, that is also 33. So we have here 33 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 33 times 5 is 165. And that is the answer. Next. Find the value of 13 times 35 plus 35 times 86. Now, as I've showed you earlier, as I've showed you earlier, you have a common factor here, which is 35. So we can factor that out. We have 35 times 13 plus 86. So you have here 35 times, what's 86 plus 13? That is 99. Now, you can multiply this directly or you can also divide that. Uh, you can also express 99 as 100 minus 1. This way, you can multiply easier num easy numbers. 35 times 100 minus 35 times 1. 35 times 100 is 3,500 minus 35. You will be left with 3,465. That's the answer. Miss? Do you understand? Teacher, I understand, but I... But how can I lock them into in into the the E K L A V V Y A? How? Teacher says you don't need to care about this. You just need to look in the screen. So it have a question. You you don't need to join in the link. So it takes you lots of time. You cannot focus in the lesson. Exactly. But how to lock in? Okay. Now I have here someone from from I know from the team who will explain to you about the eclavia. Okay. Now, Miss K, are you here, Miss K? Yes, hello. Good morning, students. So this math exam review is already in your Eclavia. Okay, Ms. K, they are asking, some of the students are asking, uh, they don't have their login details. Uh, what country? Okay, for those who did not Philippines. receive. Philippines. I, I'm for, from Vietnam. For the Philippines, the login details was already sent for the online. For those who will be joining on-site, you don't have a login details because you will be having a paper-based exam. I, I'm, I'm from Vietnam. So for Vietnam, Wala you have to receive. contact oh, your... From Vietnam. Yes, for Vietnam, you have to contact your coordinator, OSEC coordinator in Vietnam, for your login details. But for those delegates or participants who will join the on site in Pattaya, Thailand, there will be no login details for you because you will be having a paper based exam during the competition. For this mock, just listen to the lecturer so that you will understand how to solve the problem. Just treat it as another training lesson. Understand? Yes. Yes. 
Are you an online participant, Aria? Opo. Check your registered login email. Wala Excuse po. me, can I explain for the student in Vietnam? I'm sure, ma'am. My student. Uh, các con ơi, các cái đề thi học tế là mở cho các con làm. Còn ngày hôm nay các con chưa kịp làm thì chỉ nghe thầy giải thích và hiểu được cách làm thôi. Nếu chưa kịp làm thì con sẽ làm sau. Các con đừng gián đoạn bởi vì thầy đang chữa bài. Bây giờ mình chỉ có nghe thầy chữa bài thôi nha. Sau đó các con sẽ làm lại test sau. Nhiều bố mẹ mở link để, để làm lại sau nha. Con hiểu không? Con chỉ xem trên màn hình cái bài đó và nghe thầy thầy chữa để hiểu cách làm thế thôi còn làm bài con không hỏi về cái link nữa bởi vì cô, nó sẽ cô ơi, con cô, sẽ cô xem ở Việt xong. Nam ơi okay. cô nhắc các bạn ở Việt Nam là các phụ huynh nhắc nhở con chat rồi nói nhớ các thứ vào màn hình à vào trong cái zoom này rất là nhiễu làm ảnh hưởng đến tất cả mọi người trong này Đúng rồi, rồi mình cái chủ yếu là Việt Nam thôi toàn Việt Nam chat rất linh tinh that's, that's okay yeah just stop message or sending um, any message just listen to the teacher please okay Yes, it's okay now. Uh, okay. So is it clear now, everybody? Uh, thank you. Uh, thank, you. Uh, thank you, ma'am, thank you. for explaining. Um, ma'am, can you also um, can you also explain on the main meeting? Can you go back to the main meeting with me and explain to the rest of the uh, Vietnamese participants who are still in the main meeting to join their breakout room? Ma'am Doc. Cô các bạn bình giảng thì giảng nào? Không chắc. How could I okay. go to the main break? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, break go back to Vietnamese student only. That's yes. Like yes. There are still a lot of Vietnamese students in the main meeting who did not join the breakout oh. room. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Thank All right. So I think that makes everything clear. So, can we proceed now? Let's proceed to question number 12. So, we're already short of time. So, we're going to do... Yes. We're going to finish this fast, okay? So, we have here question number 12. Find the value of 44 times 4,444. 4, now, if you multiply this directly, it's okay. You can multiply this directly, but I'll teach you a way how to multiply... Um, efficiently. So if you have 44 times 444, 4, 4, you know that 44 is just 4 times 11. 4,444 4, 4, is 4 times 1,111. So if you group them like this, 4 times 4 times 11 times 1,111, you'll get 16 times. This one is 1, 2, 3. 3, 2, 1, I guess. 1,111 times 11. That's 1. Sorry, sorry. That's 1, 2. Sorry, it isn't. 2, 2, 1. So now, you have numbers that are smaller. The digits are smaller compared to 4. So you just need to multiply 1, 2, 2, 1. 1, 2, 2, 2, 1 times 16. So 6 times 1, that's 6. 12, carry 1. 13, carry 1. 13, carry 1. 7. And then you have 1, 2, 2, 2, 1. So you have 6, 3, 5, 5, 2, 2. That's your answer. Am I right? Yeah, isn't it the one? No. No, 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 it's not right. It's not right. Okay. Be sure the answer is supposed to be eight. It's 1,000. I want. 536. Yeah, it's 195536. Five, yeah, sorry, sorry. 5,536. Okay. Wait, it's Okay, so, but if you, if you would 
multiply this directly, then I have no problems with it if you're confident with multiplying this directly, okay? So you have many ways to solve for a problem. Okay. Okay, now before we proceed to number theory, do you have any clarifications regarding arithmetic and logical thinking? No. Okay. All right, let's proceed to question number 13. I have a question. Ah, yeah, what? What's the answer for number? For number? He says seven. Seven. Seven is? Okay, let's solve together. We have six times 10. That is 60. This one is 33. This one is 27. 33 plus 27, that's 60. So 60 plus 60. That's 120. Okay? Now let's proceed to our number theory part. Define the oper operation symbol A operation B is A plus 9 times B minus A. Find the value of 3 operation 7. So technically, what you need to do here is just substitute the values of A and B. This is your A. This is your B. So A plus 9, so that would be 3 plus 9, parenthesis, times 7 plus nine, minus 7 A. minus 3. That's 12 times 4, which is 48. Okay? Yes. All right, next. The remainder of a two-digit number divided by 9 is 3. So you have a two-digit number divided by 9 has a remainder of 3. Find the maximum value of this two-digit number. Okay. Uh, a few hours ago, we had a reviewer. Because the mock test is supposed to be harder than the reviewer. How come, teacher, the mock test right now is easier? Those are questions I cannot answer because I'm not the one who made the question. I'm just here to discuss. Why is it more easier? Even though okay. the mock so I think the per uh, for me personally, I think the purpose of the mock test is to like to to first is to Review. practice for the eclavia and second is to prepare your brain because uh, the, the techniques here will be applicable to the questions in the final exam. So we're not actually we're not actually focusing on answering the questions itself. We're focusing on the techniques that we are using to answer the question. Does that make that does that make sense? Yes. Okay. All right. So we have here the remainder of a two-digit number divided by nine is three. Find the maximum value of this two-digit number. Okay. So what we need to do here is, since you are dividing by 9, you just need to get, since you are asked for the maximum, get the largest two-digit number divisible by 9. That is 99. Now, 99 divided by 9 is, is, is divisible, right? It, it doesn't have a remainder. 11. So, now, if you add the remainder 3, that's 102. Take note that 102 is not a two-digit number anymore. So you go to the second largest, nine, which is 90. You add the remainder, so you have 93. That's the answer. Is that clear? Okay. Um, again? I don't need to remind you to turn off your microphone, okay? Be respectful, not just to me, but with your classmates as well. Okay, next. 
My the sum of A and B is 159. So when we when we convert that, when we convert that. Each other see the green anymore. Các con ơi tắt hết mic nhá, tắt hết mic trong quá trình các con nghe thầy, không ai bật mic lên cả. Okay, so the sum of A and B is 159. So in a mathematical sentence, that would look like this. A plus B equals 159. Now, A is two times of B. So you have two Bs that's equal to A. Now, this A here is the same as this A here. So I can replace its value with 2B. That would mean I have 2B plus B equals 159. 2Bs plus B, that's 3Bs. That's equal to 159. You divide 159 by 3, you will get 53. Okay, now you are asked to find the value of B, so that's the answer. B is 53. Yeah, sure. You don't have to ask. Okay, next. Question number 16. What is the smallest three-digit number that is divisible by four and seven? Okay, now in order for us to solve for this one, the first thing we need to do is to get the LCM or the least common multiple of four and seven. The okay. LCM of four and seven is 28. You have 40. It's 28. Now, you are asked to find the smallest three-digit number. So, you know that 28 times 2 is 56. That is still not a three-digit number. 28 times 3, that is... Twenty-eight times three that is eighty-four. 84. This is still 84. a two-digit number. So when you have twenty-eight times four, you will get uh, one hundred. This is already a three-digit number. So you have number. The answer. The answer. Okay. How many two digit odd numbers? Are there? Okay. Okay. How many two digit odd numbers are there such that its tenth digit is seven? So the condition is tenth digit is seven. So you have seven and then your ones digit. So how many numbers can you put here in the ones digit? You have the numbers 0, 2, 9. So technically, these are the numbers from 70 to 79. The answer is at no. You are asked to find the number of odd numbers. So the numbers that you can put there are 71, 5. 73, 75, 77, and 79. So the answer is 5. five. five. So what about 70, 27, 37, 47, 57? Look, look at the question. It's tense. When you have 27, 37, 
where is the position of your seven? It's in the one digit. It's, it's it not allowed. Okay? Yeah. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Next. The sum of three consecutive even numbers is 54. Find the value of the middle number. Okay. This is actually very easy. When you have the sum of consecutive numbers, you just need to divide the sum by the number of numbers you added. 54 divided by 3 is 18. Therefore, your numbers are 18, 20, and 16. So the middle number is 18. Clear? Now, sometimes the problem will ask you determine the largest number or determine the smallest number. It's middle number. Yeah, now, for this problem, you are asked for the middle number. Okay, What's let's the continue. Number? We know the answer for number 16. <laughs> number 16? This, this is 93. I ah, no, 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 no. 112. Okay, number. Okay, any clarifications number in two. the number theory part? I like this. I like that. Yo, man. This uh, easy as pie. Lost. I think that this is the um, easy. Okay, here. 16 identical small squares whose perimeters are 20 centimeters. Form a larger square. What is the perimeter of the large square? Okay. You have 16 identical small squares. And you need to combine them to make a big square. How to do that? Like this. 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 Yeah. So just assume that these are squares. Uh, teacher doesn't know how to draw. So these are squares here. Okay. okay. So you have 16 squares. One, two, three, four, and then four columns and four rows. So you have 16 already. Now, each of the each of the small square has a perimeter. Of 20. So how long is one side if the perimeter is 20? 5. So this is 5. Very good. So this is five. also 5, 5, and 5. Now, what is the perimeter of the larger square? This is 5, 5, 5, 5. So one side of the larger square is 20. So perimeter of the larger square is just 4 times 20. That's Let's see. Let's see. Correct. Clear? Yes. Correct. Now, it is known that the length of two sides of a triangle are 10 centimeters and 15 centimeters, respectively. And all the lengths of all sides of the triangle are integers. How many possible values of the length of the remaining side of the triangle are there? Okay. Are you familiar with the triangle inequality theorem? The triangle yeah, inequality no. theorem. Okay. The triangle inequality Nineteen. theorem states that if this is your triangle, right. if this is your triangle A and side B and side C, if that is the triangle, side C should be greater than A minus b but less than a plus b now if the sides of the triangle are if this is 15 i mean that's 10 and this is 15 so side c should be between 15 minus 10 and 15 plus 10 so side C should be between 5 and 25. So the possible values of 19. C 
are 6 to 24. How many numbers are there from 6 to 24? We have 19 numbers. 19 numbers. 19. And that is your answer. You have 19 possible values of the length yes. of the remaining side. Do you understand? Sure, is it because you need to add centimeters and five centimeters, making it 25? And what? making it C will be like from 6 to 24 because 15 minus 10 is 5, but you plus a 1. Yeah. Take a look at this. It's the values are between 5 and 25. So it should not be 5 and 25. It should be between them, which are the numbers 6 to 24. Okay, next. One unit square is one square face of a small cube. So this is a unit square. What did you say? Can you go back to question number? This one? Yes. Okay. So this is called the triangle inequality theorem where the third side should be between the difference of the other two sides and the sum of the other two sides. So you have 15 minus 10, that's 5. 15 plus 10, that's 25. So your third side should be between 5 and 25. Those are the numbers 6 to 24. So you have 19 possible values for the third side C. Clear? Okay, number 21. One unit square is one square face of a small cube. At least how many unit squares can be seen if viewing the figure below from the top? 11. So you 11. have 1, 11, 2, 11. 11. 11. What did 11. I say about telling me the answer when no, I'm still and explaining? I'm I'm still explaining, you listen. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and eleven. So the answer is eleven. What? A pyramid has A pyramid has 58 vertices. How many edges does this pyramid have? Okay. You listen first. For the number but I meet to follow instructions. Are you done talking? Đề nghị các con tắt hết mic đi ạ. Các phụ huynh ngồi bên cạnh tắt mic giúp các con đi ạ. Sao cứ Okay. A pyramid has 58 vertices. How many edges does this pyramid have? Now, for pyramids, the number of edges is equal to the number of faces minus 1 times 2. And the number of faces, the number of faces is equal to the number of vertices. This is for pyramids. Now, if we have 58 vertices, that would mean we also have 58 faces. So the number of edges would be 58 minus 1 times 2. 
57 Nine. times 2. So the number of edges is 100. It's a 100 and 114. Okay, next. A rectangle is a perimeter of 40. If the length and width of the rectangle are both integers, what is the mass? If the length and the width of the rectangle are both integers, what is the maximum possible area of that rectangle? This is very... Okay. Um, excuse me, teacher AJ. What if the vertices is asked? What is the formula? The number of two. I have a question. I have a question. Stop talking. Excuse me, teacher AJ. What if the vertices are asked? What is the formula? Wait for a while. Everybody is talking at the same time. I cannot hear you. I have a question. Okay, from what I said earlier, the number of edges is just equal to the number of faces minus 1 times 2. And the number of faces is equal to the number of vertices. So if you are asked for the number of vertices, then just solve for the number of faces because they're the same. Okay, next. At least how many pieces? Oh, this one. A rectangle has a perimeter of 40. If the length and width of the rectangle are both integers, what is the maximum possible area of that? Rectangle. 82. Okay, so if the perimeter. 82. 99. Okay, to get the maximum area mm. of a rectangle, we need to set the rectangle to be as close to a square. Now, how to do that? In order for us to make a rectangle very close to a square, then we need to set its length and width to be very close. Now, if the perimeter of the rectangle is 40, then the sum of its length and width should be equal to 20. So you need to find a value of, a value of length and width that will be equal to 20. Take note that length and width should be close to each other, or if possible, equal. Now, we can have our length and width to be both 10. And this a rectangle way, can be a square, but a square can't be a rectangle. This way, yeah. Yeah. It's nine we have and, uh, 11. a square mm -hmm. that has a side length of 10. So therefore, the area is 100. That's the maximum uh, area that rectangle so can so have. So, 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 so. <laughs> Who's laughing? I have a question. A special rectangle. My mom. I have a question. Okay, what's your question? Rectangle. And the answer for number 22. Thing in the world, the dumbest um, thing in the world. A squares, a special. Answer for number twenty-one. Yes. What's with number twenty-one, Jarvis? What's the answer? For number twenty-one, the answer was eleven. Okay, this one. At least, how many pieces can we get if we slice through a cake three times? Look so. Uh, at least how many pieces can we get 
if we slice through a cake three times. Four. So if this is your cake, this is one slice, yes. second slice, third slice. So you have one, four slice, three, four. So you have four slices. Four slices. Easy at five. Easy at five. Depends on the slice. Teacher, AJ, it can also be three. I'm going to draw a piece of paper and I'm going to. Okay, is other is seven? Answer is three. No, it is four. We call it at it's least. It's four. It's four because be we are asked for the least. It can also be six. A three times it is three. Again, three, two. It's four. It's going to be seven. Okay, listen, everybody. Reminding you to read the problem carefully. You are asked for oh, the least. Three. Three? Seven. Three. Yes, three. 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 How to, how to, no, how to get three? Three. Seven. Okay, um, who Me, said, who, who, who said three? Three, three, three. three. Uh, they did draw like that. There's a lot of times. Three. They draw like that. Nice. It can also be six. Nice. Okay. So three times have... on a circle pick. Okay. Ah. Okay. Is that slicing through the cake? What are you doing? No, no. no. Hey, what are you doing? Sure, so it has to be. What are you doing? Okay. Now, it if, be you, six. If, if you slice, that's not slicing through the cake. You must go through. If you if you just slice it until there, that's not slicing through slice. the cake. It can be six also. Yes, it can be six. It can be seven. It can be eight. But yeah. the question that's is at least. At least. It's so the smallest number possible. Alila, alila, alila. Next. Combinatory. This will be the last category, and then after this, we're done. Yeah, we're done. Okay, what is the largest five digit even number whose digits are one, two, five, seven, and nine? Okay. 7,521. For those who are be quiet. Are you done talking? Not talking. Done. Okay. Can I continue now? Yes. Can I continue explaining without you shouting the answer? Yes. Yes. Okay. No. So we have here the large. We are asked to find the largest five-digit even number whose digits are numbers one, two, five, seven, and nine. Each number can only be used nine, once. Nine, seven, five, since, one, two. Since you are asked even, to find an even, even number, not odd. Since you are asked to find an five, even number, nine, you, need, uh, you need. Don't test my patience, please. Since you are asked to find the large the largest five digit even number, then you need to set two here as your one digit. So you need to put two here. And then you have nine, seven, five, five. one. So the answer is ninety seven thousand five hundred twelve. Next. How many two-digit odd numbers are there such that the number contains the digit 7? Okay. First is, we have our first case. 
first case is if your seven is in the ones digit or in the units digit. So you have the numbers 11, and I, I mean 17, 27, 37, 47. Eighty-seven and ninety-seven. So how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Number. Nine. 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 Number. Now, second case. But there are one more. Uh, there are four more numbers. Second case if seven is. Hey, it's two digit number or not three digits. So you have, if seven is intense, you have 71, 73, 75, 75, and 79. Now, why did I not include 77? I did not, I did not include 77 here because it's already here. So you have four oh, okay. numbers. So nine plus four, that is 13. I have a question. Yes? 13. Yeah. Are negative numbers included? No. Next. 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 Uh -huh. Numbers are drawn from 25 integers 1 to 25. At least how many numbers need to be drawn to ensure that there are two numbers whose sum is 19? Okay. I chose a number. What's the answer again? 17. You listen carefully so that we'll not go back to problems that we already solved. The answer here is 13. Yes, I'm a courage. So we have here 25 numbers from 1 to 25. And you need to have a sum of 19. Okay. So the numbers 19 to 25 will not give you a sum of 19, right? 19 needs a zero. Also, 20, you need to subtract one to get 19. So this will not have pairs. So the numbers from 19 to 25 are, there are seven. Now, how to get 19? We can have one plus 18. Uh, 2 plus 17 until 2 plus 17 and 9 plus 10. 9 plus. 9 plus 10. So from this, we have 9 pairs. So therefore, we just need to add 7 plus the 9 here plus 1 to ensure. So the answer is 17 draws. Yeah. Very good. All right, next. We're almost done. Kevin has three twenty dollar notes, so that's three times twenty. Four times fifty dollar notes, so that's four times fifty. And then one one hundred. Fifteen. So you have four three times twenty. Plus 200 plus 100, you'll get 360. And then 360 divided by four, 24 is 15. 15. 15. So the technique is you need to solve for the total money and then divide it by 24. Next, a group of students are taking photos, two students at a time. Each student has to take photo with another schoolmate. At least how many pictures are there to be taken? Okay, this is very easy. This is just one, two. Two. Or that is just 15 times 14 over 1 times 2. So you have 14 divided by 2, 
that's 7. So you have 15 times 7. That is equal to 105. That's the answer. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, last number. Oh, it's easy. Very easy. Choose digits without repetition from 13579. Easy. Says I do what? To form two two-digit numbers. What is the maximum possible value of the product between these two numbers? Okay, in order for you to get the maximum product, then of course, Mark, you need to set the values to be very big. That can be 95 times 73. No! no. Or 91. No, 91. Why 91? Why would you use oh, one when you, have this, when you have bigger yes, yes. digits? Diba? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you have... 95 times 73, and we have 93 times 75, which will give you a bigger answer. The second one. The same. It's equal. The same. One. Same. This is 6935. Five and. This is also 6935. 6935. It's all the same. I'm saying. Please. And that's the answer. Zero. Do you understand? Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay, so yes, that's the last number. I think that's it for today. We're done. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.